Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today we're talking about something that has been really irritating for me for a long time on Forza Horizon 5. The amount and the number or the number of paint schemes that you can apply to any of your vehicles at any one time. Oh my gosh. Once you hit a cap, you can't apply any more paint jobs. So let's just get into it. And I've been on the forums and I and someone just gave me a glimpse of hope. Uh, they gave me a workaround. It's not the best thing. Playground games, you gotta fix this. But anyway, let me just show you what I do. So I'm in Forza Horizon 5. I'm just gonna go into, um, let's go to the first of all site. And say you've just got yourself a new car, right? And then you go into designs and paints, find a new design because I don't paint. I like applying what other people have done. But if you're a painter, good on you. <laughs> you guys do such an amazing job. I love the stuff that I find on you. I like this Novitec carbon paint, for example. So I'm just going to select it and boom, you get this message here. Oh my word. <laughs> I can't believe for a game that gives you so many cars, they won't allow you to put just... <laughs> I think I've got like, well, I don't even have that many cars. I mean, that have, have got custom paint jobs on them. And this is what I get. So anyway, here's a workaround, right? This is not the best thing. It needs to be fixed. But anyway, here's a workaround. What you do is um, find any of your cars that are available on the order show right so cars that you don't mind losing because if you lose it you can just buy another one so for today's video i'm going to use um the 1983 volvo because i know i've got a custom paint job on that and i don't really care about that car that much Forty-five thousand credit i can buy another one if i want to so um no sweat if i lose it so pick a car that you don't mind losing and then what you do is you go to um <laughs> <laughs> you go you go to the auction house uh, yeah you go to the auction house so i was going to show you which car i've got and you start an auction and then you go to that specific car there it is with the custom paint job and just sell it right so you want to auction this car sell it for um as much as possible so hopefully nobody picks it up if they don't pick it up good if they do buy another one right and then uh, auction length is as short as possible confirm so literally take a car that you have auction it out it's going to go into the auction house and then what you then do as soon as that happens is you let's just wait for it to go there you go it's on the auction house sweet um and then what you then do is you go back to your designs and paints go to your my designs and then find that particular paint job right while the car is being auctioned uh, hopefully I can find this quickly. This is the hard part. Well, the other option you have is just to go and find all these designs and delete some of them. But these are very personal to me. Like I can remember when I actually applied a lot of these things. I don't want to delete them, <laughs> you know, because I'm using them. Uh, and I mean, guys, we get so many cars in Forza Horizon. Surely they should allow us to um, keep all the paint jobs and apply more. I mean, seriously, this is 2023. But anyway. Uh, so I'm just going to go through, uh, hopefully I find it. This is the pain. This is such a pain. I wish there was like a filter by vehicle or something. But alas, I don't know why, why we have to go through this. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. There it is. <laughs> found it. Delete this one. Okay. Yep. You want to delete it? It's being used by one of my cars, but the cars in the auction house delete it. And that's it. And then what you then do is wait. If the car is not sold, you get it back with the paint job, but the paint job is no longer one of these, right? So let's just wait for it. I'm just gonna um, literally wait an hour <laughs> and then I'll carry on recording and show you what I'm gonna do next as soon as the car comes back. Hopefully it comes back. If it gets sold, buy another one. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. It's been literally an hour, literally an hour. So um, let's get back into the auction house and see what's happened. So if I go back now, uh, let's just go into a festival site um, and go into the auction house and my auctions, you can see I've got that one there and the car did not sell, which is exactly what we wanted. The car is still mine, still got the paint job, but um, something special has happened. So I'm just gonna go in there and reclaim the car. Now remember, I deleted the paint job, and I'm just reclaiming the car, which means that paint job is no longer in my, in my, um, in my collection. So basically, if I go back here, I've got the car with the paint job back. Um, but then, if I go to my uh, to my designs and paints, it's no longer under my designs, right? Which is cool. But I've got the car still, so which means I can now pick up uh, my car 
which I wanted. I think I had the Ferrari. Yep, I wanted to paint the Ferrari. That was the first one I had. It was the F Attributor. So I can now go here. There it is. And find new designs. And now I can pick up the design that I wanted. Another to carbon. And boom. I can now download it. <laughs> it's the most stupid thing, right? <laughs> what I recommend when you do this, by the way, is just sell off a couple of cars. Um, I, I like doing like three at a time or something like that. And then I try to clear them out. But still, it doesn't make sense that we have to do this just to get more paint jobs on our cars. Anyway, there it is. F Attributor on deck looking absolutely amazing. And yeah, now I can free up my spaces and get more paint jobs on. If the car sells, just buy another one. <laughs> but anyway, that's it guys. Check in the next one. Peace out.